Hey guys, Captain Taylor here with SaltyScales.com. Today I want to make a quick video um, just to touch base on my last video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it was me trout fishing out on the flats. I received a lot of inquiries asking about my favorite lures or the lures that I'm most productive with when targeting speckled trout and silver trout. So I put um, just a whole mass of lures together here, some of the ones that have been the most helpful for me. So I thought I'd go over them and discuss them really quickly. Alright guys, so what I have here is Mission Fishing Jig Head. And this is just a 1 8 ounce. This is typically what I use, a 1 8 or a 1 16 ounce depending on the depth. But the reason I really like these is because the hooks are super sharp and they've, they're super durable. They've never let me down. But of course you can use any jig head of your choice. Um, here is the Head and Zara Puppy. I've caught numerous trout, redfish, and snook off this lure alone. This is probably one of the best top waters there are. Uh, the bone color is a very, very productive color, and uh, it'll allow you to catch a ton of fish. Here's a mirror lure. Uh, by, it's a Miradyne. Uh, the Miradyne Mini is the one that I prefer. This one is just uh, the natural greenback coloration. Uh, this one is very protective for redfish, snook, and trout. Catch a ton of speckled trout and larger speckled trout on this lure here. I would have to say that my most productive uh, lure is the DOA shrimp. I've caught more sh more trout on this lure than any other uh, lure here. And you'll see here it has a weight inside. It's very well balanced. It moves very nicely in the water. This isn't my preferred color. The color that I typically would choose is called nuclear chicken. I just ran out of them, so I'm showing you this one. Now, for my soft plastics, I would typically go with a gulp with a chartreuse tail. Um, and then again, nuclear chicken is another good color for this as well. The scent is just fabulous. In their recipe, gulp did it right. They do very well with that. Um, what you saw in my last video, if you watched it, the mirror lure, the Little John, I love these lures. They, they're very durable. Uh, they slice through the water, very aerodynamic, uh, and they're inexpensive, so they'll last you a long time. They're also scented, so they work, work very well, and my coloration has changed depending on the bait, um, the water that I'm fishing. Uh, there's a lot of variables that go into the color. Another one here is a DOA cow shad. These are very productive as well. They have a nice swimming action. The only thing is, is the tail is very weak and oftentimes the bait fish and, and smaller trout will tear them off just after one or two fish or one or two casts. So you go through a lot of them fairly quickly. Now when I'm fishing live bait, either shrimp or greenbacks, a popping cork for trout is a must in my opinion. Um, and one that I like is the Paradise Popper or any one of them with a titanium wire. I found that the most frustrating thing to do is fish a, a popper and have that steel wire bend and once it kinks it seems as if the, the bobber or the cork is, is no longer functional. So this titanium wire, although these are a bit more expensive, they'll last forever or at least as long as this foam cork will last. And as with all my artificial baits, I'm a huge believer, as you've heard in many of my videos, the Procure baits or the Procure gels. I add these to all of my artificial. Why not, guys? If you're going to spend the time on the water, add that extra element of scent, and you'll see that your hookup ratios will increase. This stuff is amazing. It's a little sticky. It's a little dirty to get on your hands, but it's worth it. And another one that, if you're not uh, familiar with, is the Gulp Alive. You add this to your, your artificials, and it works just as well. Very good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I appreciate you guys commenting. That's why I asked you what your favorite lures were, because it's interesting to see what you have your success with, and I enjoy sharing what I have my success with. Who knows? You know, sharing that knowledge, maybe I'll try a new lure, you might try a new lure, and you know, you might catch more fish, and I might catch more fish. So it's fun sharing ideas um, and communicating back and forth. So if you have any questions or concerns, just post here on the YouTube page or go to saltyscales.com. Until then, we'll see you on the water.